do Moses, Winston Churchill, and James Earl Jones all have in common? Well, they all stuttered. Until recently, stuttering was widely thought to be a nervous or even emotional condition. But there is growing evidence to suggest that stuttering is neurological, and there could soon be a pill on the market to treat it. Take a look. Okay. For Ken uh, Steinhardt, and, making um, a simple uh, phone call uh, can be nerve-wracking. Uh, would you tell her that uh, Ken's Ken, uh, Ken, 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 uh, 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 Steinhardt called. Ken has stuttered since he was a little boy. For years, he tried to hide it. I wouldn't talk unless I absolutely had to. Some three million Americans stutter. Most people start stuttering when they first learn to speak. And boys tend to stutter more than girls. For years, the conventional treatment has been speech therapy. Often, children come up with creative ways to cope. I remember in kindergarten, first, second grade, uh, I would imitate cartoon voices in class when I would be called upon. Or whatever, and I haven't done them for a while. But <laughs> Jerry Maguire grew up to be Dr. Maguire. I will likely stutter the rest of my life. A psychiatrist and researcher at UC Irvine, Dr. Maguire is one of the world's leading experts on stuttering. He is one of a growing number who believes stuttering is not caused by a psychological weakness, but by an anatomical problem in the brain. We're learning that stuttering is actually a miscommunication of the brain speech centers with the mouth, throat, and tongue in getting the words out. To better understand, let's take a tour through the brain. First off, this is the basal ganglia, which controls speech. The Wernicke area over here tells us what word we want to say. Here, the Broca's area forms the word. And finally, the striatum times and initiates speech. In people who stutter, it is believed the striatum is bombarded with too much dopamine. McGuire and other researchers believe this anti-anxiety medication called Pagaclone can control stuttering by controlling dopamine with no side effects. We found that the medication was effective in reducing stuttering. Uh, in over half, in, in over, in over half the patients. Pagaclone doesn't cure stuttering, but it does curb it. I believe that the future of stuttering treatment will combine therapy and uh, medications both. Ken Steinhardt has been participating in the clinical trial for over a year. Move. Move. And while Ken still stutters, Pagaclone has helped dramatically. Well now, I, I have a free flow of thought that I've never experienced before. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like a kind of a revelation. A revelation that doctors hope other people who stutter will soon experience.